be talking about this fight. Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor, taking place August 26th out in Vegas. And with us now, a man that was a world champion in two different weight classes. And he'll be working the pay-per-view broadcast for Showtime Boxing, Brooklyn's own Paulie Malinaji. And you go out to uh, Vegas, and I read in the paper, I'm on vacation, that you and Conor <laughs> spar gets nasty. I'm like, oh, we better get the story I did on him on the air. We do. You guys spar again, and all of a sudden, uh, pictures were posted on social media. You're not happy, and here you are yeah. on the couch talking to us. Yeah. You left camp and quit uh, his camp. So what, what what happened? Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, only his photographers are allowed in the gym, so they're going to get pictures favorable to him. And I don't mind that. You know, you're, you're in your training camp. This is the camp. picture we're talking yeah, about. You weren't that. happy about that. Well, I wasn't happy because he knows and I know it wasn't from a punch. You know, he was actually frustrated from getting beaten up that particular day. And uh, he, that was actually a shove down, a push down. And... Uh, I think even the referee wasn't allowed to talk about it. I mean, listen, I think at the end of the day, sparring should stay in the gym. I, I didn't go around. I wouldn't have went around talking about how I beat up Conor McGregor right. on Tuesday if, if I didn't, wasn't forced to. You know can what I'm he saying? fight? Like, That's what I want to know. He can definitely fight. I mean, he's a, mixed martial, he's a mixed martial arts champion. He can f definitely fight. Uh, as far as boxing is, is concerned, I'm not going to tell you he can't box. You know, I'm not, not going to say that. Um, he he's understands what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. But he's got to progress, you know, the, there's things he's got to come along with. And it's not so easy to come along that fast um, all this way through. My problem with Conor is his arrogance. You know, he, his arrogance is to the point where he can't make progress. He can't learn, you know, because he, he, he just wants a bunch of yes men around him. He doesn't want to be told he's doing something wrong. He doesn't want to be told that, you know, he needs to make progress or he needs to change certain things. Whatever he's doing, he wants to just be told how great he's doing. So you and Mayweather are buddies. Yeah. You guys are good well, friends. Yeah, but okay. Floyd understood when I was going to camp. No, when I was going to right. camp, I spoke to Floyd, and he said, you know, hey, it's business. I get it. I've sparred guys that have been getting ready to fight you, so I don't know when, I, when, I'm, when I'm sparring a guy. Has Floyd to fight asked you what happened? Have you guys talked? No, 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 because I, I won't do it that way. I, right. I, 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 you know, I have, I have an ethical side of me. See, I'm not like Conor McGregor, who... Even if I had knocked down Conor McGregor and I had a picture of it, I wouldn't post it on social media. Let alone Conor, who didn't knock me down, it was a push down, tries to play it as it's a, it's a, it's a knockdown. You right. know what I mean? He's trying too hard to sell it for me. In Have my you opinion. guys talked at all? Uh, what, no, I know you guys yeah, didn't like we, each we other talk, going we, into this. We talked this. very sporadically in camp. It wasn't like you that. You said you, you wanted to knock his beard off back in December. Well, yeah, you know, at the time, well, yeah, was at the time you know, you're trying to get a fight. I think uh, I've, I've been in a war of words with a lot of guys yeah. who also tried to fight me when I was a boxer. But then at the fight, didn't play out. I was always cool with them. Right. You know, I've done that with multiple names fighters so I thought I thought me and Connor would be pretty cool once the fight didn't happen and we I was coming to help him to spar but you know obviously he took it a little personally he's a little bit of a weird guy in that way I, I you because you mature past that at a certain age and at 29 years old you figured he'd be a little bit more mature than that but I had a, my problem wasn't just with the sparring my problem was with the way he treats people the way he treats the other sparring partners uh he's a bit on the cheap side you know what I'm saying you have a hundred million dollar fight I, I think you could splurge a little bit more on training camp especially the way you treat the sparring partners and the living quarters and whatnot I asked for nothing no special treatment I wanted to be like the sparring partners. Right. I wanted to have in a, in a token of good faith. I wanted to go over there and stay with the sparring partners. I didn't negotiate my price. Whatever first price they gave me, I accepted that. As far as payment was concerned, which I never got paid by the way I left, um, but I never tried to make things difficult for them. But I assumed things would at least be on a moderate living conditions. You know what I'm saying? And um, they really weren't. Um, like I said, a little bit on the cheap side, and I, and I, I wasn't. I, I haven't been, I'll put it, I put it like this to people, I have never been part of a $100 million fight, but I've been part of multiple fights where there's been million dollar purses in there. And I've been, so once you're part of seven, seven and eight figure purses or nine figure purses in his case, you understand how to treat the right. training camp and how to properly budget it without being too cheap, but without overspending. You know, you, there's people involved, there's a team involved, and you need to take care of them too. And I've, I've never seen such a cheap guy in my life. I mean, oh. I, I was, and all my training camps, I mean, I, 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 I was like blown away the way this guy, the, the, the treatment this guy gave everybody. But he rented himself a Lamborghini. He made sure he rented himself a Lamborghini in Vegas, which was like, all right, bro, you're, so what is it about? What, you don't respect anybody else? I mean, these are the people that are helping you. you you're not, it's, it's about status with you. I, I didn't understand what it was, but, but, um, you know, I, I, could, I could talk to you about this all night, but you're going to drop some more knowledge on uh, Paulie Malinaji, Brooklyn to the World, yes. your podcast. Yes, you're going to tomorrow. tape that tomorrow, yes. post it uh, probably tomorrow night, and yeah. then you're working the pay-per-view fight, which yeah. I'm going to buy. Yeah, yeah, and of course, and I'll, get into, the I'll right. get into the tactics and the breakdown of the styles right. on the pay-per-view, because I really don't want to get into the tactical stuff he does right. or, not, or doesn't do on, uh, right now, because I, I don't think it would be ethical, and also, you know, Floyd could find out, and I don't, I don't, you know, don't want to take away the integrity of the fight. I may not like him on a personal right. level, but I do want to keep the integrity of the fight. 
And so, but on fight night, when they're about to fight, and we're going to preview the fight, I will get into a lot of the tactical stuff and the breakdowns of what he does and what he doesn't do and certain things he may do well and certain things that he probably should have worked on and a lot of things I don't agree with. But I'll get, I'll get more into that on fight night. I can't wait. I'll be buying the fight. Paulie Malinaji, we appreciate it. Uh, Paulie Malinaji, Brooklyn to the World podcast. Check it out. Taping it tomorrow.